so our next question is, what are the top challenges in biology which are open to positive impact from bioinformatics and computational biology? I'm going to speak to this question on two levels. First, I'll talk about scientific challenges, and then I'll talk about partnership or scientific process challenges. So the scientific challenges are challenges that revolve around the kinds of high throughput data that I spoke about in answer to question number one. Um, how do we take this gene expression data and protein expression data and reconstruct it into networks that really uncover the regulation of gene expression and the regulation of cells? And then related to that, how do we use this data to figure out how a cell that's been perturbed manages to recover? What is the recovery process? Is it some sort of stochastic robustness or resilience? Or are there actual recovery paths? So that's within a cell. The same exact question applies at an organism level. Now, how does an organism recover from infection? We know that it's the immune system, and the immune system gives many building blocks for battling an infection and then coming and healing. But how exactly does that happen? What are the molecular parts that work it out? Um, there's this, this microscopic view and the macroscopic interpretation that matter. And we're still not there. So that goes to the, the second part of how I'd like to discuss these challenges, and that's the process of, of reconstructing these regulatory networks and reconstructing these recovery pathways or the maintenance of a steady state in spite of perturbations, which is a third scientific challenge. And that's the fact that biology traditionally, over hundreds of years, has looked at single genes, single proteins, single organisms, and how that organism works. And the kinds of measurements that we're talking about here talk about systems, systems of genes, systems of proteins. So how do we simulate those systems? How do we encode them? And how do we do it in a way that it's, it's not just systems biology, but rather partnering with biologists to gain deeper insights into the biological questions that the biologists are at, asking? So the challenge is how to partner with biologists and to be biologists on equal footing with the traditional experimental single gene, single protein biology so that the kind of work that we computer scientists or computational biologists do has equal impact and equal meaning and perhaps even guides what are the next questions to ask in biology.